Hello, I'm the Sparkly Cinephile. I remember it, so you don't have to. Today I'm here to tell you what you should see, what you shouldn't see, and what no one with a pulse should see. Today I'll be reviewing the latest from the, and the not so greatest project from the Academy Award winning director, Bailey Barnes. This script was reportedly greenlit in less than two days and cast with two emerging, or so to say, submerging stars, Celeste Marnique and Felipe Reyes. Now, well, they're newcomers, so how do I put this? Uh, oh, they have less chemistry than my second semester of sophomore year, which was also the same year I was suspended. You know, most of the time, I, I struggle to envision my character. It's like the first couple of script reads are just uh, impossible. Except for now, why, why is that? I haven't seen you since the audition. <laughs> because I think they finally matched me up with the right co-star. <laughs> Zero chemistry whatsoever. So uh, where do you uh, like to hang out at usually? Here. Here? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is our meeting spot now, huh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So you are a pet lover? Mm-hmm. Are you? Oh, I have two cats at home. What are their names? One name is Lucy, and the other is, uh, I didn't put much thought into it. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't name your cat? Kitty. Kitty. That's her name. That's the second. Where are my leads? Can I get you at guys to go to your marks? Please? You guessed it. There's no keeping me apart these days. Now, let's talk about the script. It's awful! Incredibly, credibly awful! I've seen more emotion written on a champion's poker player's face. I've seen square pegs fit into round holes. And it's weird because the Ryan director Barnes said that she poured her heart out and soul into this one. Does she even comprehend human emotion? She seems like the person who has absolutely no experience with relationships. So who were you on the phone with all morning? I told you, no one. That doesn't make any sense. Knock it off, you two. You're lucky, your principals. If you were extras, I'd be escorting you off the set myself. What the hell's going on? You two are cast to play star-crossed lovers. Not to be star-crossed lovers. Can you give us a moment? We're clearly going through something. Oh, you're going through something. Two years I put into writing this script. 30 million was put into the studio. Camera guys, the set decks. But they shouldn't just pay their mortgages because you're going through something. At the end of the day, I can forgive bad chemistry. I can forgive a dull script. Hell, I can even forgive Pixar learning how to fly and then I became a monkey's uncle. But if there's one thing I can't forgive, that's bad acting. It'd be a shame to think that an acting career would lay ahead of these two. Like, good God, which agent signed these amateurs? Are the casting directors mad? Are they just taking LSD? Oh, so it's like pretending, but with panic attacks. These so-called actors couldn't act their way out of a wet paper bag. Rolling, rolling. Hey, remember what we talked about? Hey, Cam, A Mark. B Mark. Action! Is this what I think it is? I just couldn't hold on to it any longer. I never thought you'd be able to share this with anyone. I never thought that I'd be able to share this with anyone. Cut! Go see anything else. Hey, prostitute, give her money, give her some love, whatever. Just anything is better than supporting this bunch of crap. Well, that was another episode of this show. Be sure to give a thumbs up, subscribe, and endow my firstborn child. All of those good things. I'm off to do my day job. Remember, if you need an oral or maxifacial surgery, choose Dentist Kevin Gramp, DDS. Before I go, I just wanna say, I think we've all learned a very important lesson here today. <sighs> you just can't fall in love in a mere 120 minutes.
Did you see the numbers? Brutal. Blame it on the critics. Well, there's one good thing about it. Pressure's off now. So what do you think? Try it again?